Learn Persian with Chai and Conversation, Rudaki Shadzi, Part 2. Hello and welcome to Part 2 of this special Shabishir poem by Rudaki, which we are calling Shadzi because that's the first two words in the poem. So in the last lesson, I was joined by a friend of the podcast, Yara el and we went over the overall meaning of the poem. And in this episode, I'm going to go over the individual words and phrases in the poem and learn how to use them in present day conversation. First, let's listen to my aunt Farnas recite the full poem. Shod zibo siyo chishman shod ke jahan nis juz fesane bubad zamade tang dil nabayad bud vaz guzashte nakard bayad all right, so we're going to cover all of this in this one lesson since it's such a short poem. First, let's go over the very first line. Shadzi bosia cheshman shad. So first we have the word shad. Remember, as always, when I say a word, repeat it afterwards with me out loud. This is the best way to learn. So again, shad. And this simply means joyous or glad or happy. Shad. And the full command is shad z. So in this case, z stands for zendegikon, which means live, as in a command. You live. So this is one of those poetic liberties that isn't used in everyday conversation. So you're only going to hear z in poetry in place of the full phrase, zendegikon. So let's repeat that together. Zendegikon. And this is in command form. You can say a lot of different phrases this way. It's one of those compound verbs that is very common in Persian language. Kon is short for the command bokon, which means to do. So really fully, it means to do life, for example. Zendegi is an amazing word, the word for life. Zendegi. And kon is short for bokon or to do. Kon. So together, zendegi kon. Do life, live. In the poem, however, it's just shortened to z. So shodzi, live happily, live joyously. Shodzi. Next, bosia cheshman. And this simply means with those with black eyes, literally. But when you see Sia Cheshman in poetry, it stands in for the lover. So it's kind of code or symbolism. Just like when you see a flower in Persian poetry, it has a particular meaning. Sia Cheshman also has a particular meaning. He or she who you are in love with. The person with dark colored eyes, which is kind of a romantic thing. So let's break it down literally. Ba means with. Ba. And sia means black. Sia. Chish is the word for I. Chishm. And chishman makes it plural. So chishman. And sia chishman is black eyes. Sia chishman. And at the end of the line, he repeats shod again. So joyously, I tell you, shod. Let's repeat this full line together. Shodzi basia chishman shod. All right, and now the next line. Ke jahan nist juz fesane obad. Okay, so let's start with the word jahan here. Jahan. And this means the world. But it could also mean the universe or this reality, jahan. Next, the other nouns in this phrase are fesane. So interestingly, this is not how we say the word in modern Persian. It means fantasy. And this word in modern Persian is actually afsane. So fesane, the poetry version, and afsane, the modern 
spoken version. Simple enough. Next, we add the word baud, and this simply means wind. Baud. And it's standing in for nothing. It's just wind, nothing. So now let's look back at the whole phrase. Ke jahan nist jos fesane o baud. The word ke is most directly translated to that, but here it means because. Ke. Ke jahan nist. And nist means is not. Nist. Kijahan nist, meaning that the world is not, because the world is not. Kijahan nist. And then, joz fesane obad. And joz means except, besides, or but. Joz. So the full phrase, kijahan nist, joz fesane obad means that the world is nothing besides fantasy and wind. So this world is illusory. It's not real. Ke jahan nist, jos fesane obad. So don't take anything seriously. This is not real. It's nothing. Okay, next two lines. Ze amade tang del nabayad bud. Okay, so first we have ze amade. These are two words. But because of the rhyme and rhythm, they get reduced to ze So in this word, ze means from or of. Ze. Although in conversational Persian, ze is actually as. As. As, from or of, a very common word you'll hear all the time. So now the word amade. This is an example of how some Persian words can pack so much in when it takes several words in English to do the same. So in this case, amade means that which is to come. So the future, amade. So ze amade means of the future. Ze amade. Next, we have the word tangdil. So one of the most beautiful things about the Persian language, as I've come to understand, is that so many times, we can talk about feelings as related to our body. So del is the word for heart. And so, so many different words for feelings have to do with the way they make the heart feel. So for example, if you're feeling depressed, you can say, delam gerefte, which means my heart is compressed. Delam gerefte. Or if you say, del shodam, that means my heart is glad, I'm happy. Del shodam. And if you say del tangam, my heart is tight, it means you miss something or you're feeling nostalgic. Del tangam. So in this case, the poem is saying tang del, which is just a reversal of del tang. So it means the same thing. A tight heart, literally, or feeling sad or nostalgic. Tang del. The word naboyad means must not. Boyad means must. Boyad. So, naboyad is the opposite. Naboyad. And finally, bud means to be. Bud. So, naboyad bud means must not be. Naboyad bud. So, again, that full phrase, ze amade tangdel naboyad bud, means we mustn't be sad about what's to come. Let's say the full phrase together. Zamade tangdil naboyad bud. Great. In the last part, vaz gozashte nakad boyad yod. All right. So va means and. Va. And again, it's combined with the sound z, but this time it's va and as together. As again means from or of. So and of, va as. And then we have gozashte, which means the past. Gozashte. So, vaz gozashte, and of the past, vaz gozashte. And this, instead of naboyad, we have nakard boyad. Nakard boyad. 
So this is kind of awkward phrasing and not necessarily something we'd say in conversation. It's more poetic. So nakad by itself means to not do. Nakad. So for example, if you ask, did he do his homework? Mashqashu tamum kad? Someone could answer, nakad. He didn't. Nakad. In this case, he's saying, nakad bayad yad. Yad means to remember or to dwell. So yad. So the full phrase, nakad bayad yad, means something along the lines of, you mustn't dwell. It is not necessary that you must dwell. <laughs> Maybe that's a better way of saying it. It's kind of like saying it in a roundabout way. Nakad bayad yad. So now let's say the full phrase again. Vaz gozashte nakad bayad yad. All right. So now let's go over the full poem line by line. I'll say the line and you repeat it after me. Shadzi ba siyah chishman. Shad. Ke jahan nis jos fesane o baad. Ze amade tangdel nabayad bud. Vaz gozashte nakad bayad yad. All right, that's the full thing. Now let's listen to Farnas recite the poem out loud and see how much you can understand this time around. Shad si bo siyah chishman shad ke jahan nis juz fesane bo baad zamade tang dil nabayad bud vaz gozeshte nakard bayad yad And that's a wrap! Hopefully you understood all the words this time around. Remember, on the lesson page for this lesson, we have the full lesson guide where you can really study these words and phrases. In addition, you can listen to the poem word by word and line by line to really get these words and phrases down yourself. And now I encourage you to memorize this poem and film yourself reciting it in a beautiful location. There's a link to all the videos we received for this poem, again, on the lesson page for this lesson, so you can submit your video and check out all the other videos that have been submitted there in our community group. Thanks so much for coming on this fun journey with me. And until next time, Hafiz from Layla. <laughs>